If you're getting started with video, editing is probably a big problem and you have no idea which program to use. You don't need to spend money on an editing program. In this video, I'm going to show you the best, most efficient program to use that's free that you can get started with today. So let's get started. Okay, so to get started, we're first gonna have to download the program. You can just Google DaVinci Resolve. It'll be the first thing that comes up and we're currently on the 16th version. So click on that. And then right at the front page, you're gonna have this download button right here. So click that download button. DaVinci Resolve 16 is the free version and it's all you need to get started. And just know that DaVinci Resolve Studio is what you're gonna get eventually. But for now, let's just focus on DaVinci Resolve 16. So now you're gonna select which operating system you have for your computer. So select what you're downloading to and then it's gonna get you to fill in all these questions. Once you fill in all the questions, you just install it just like any other program. So I've already have it installed, so I'm not gonna install it again. Instead, I'm gonna open up the program. So we're gonna open up DaVinci Resolve. You might notice that DaVinci's taking a while to get started. Don't worry, it's all good. Just have a break, relax for a second. You'll be editing in no time. Oh, it's ready. Okay, great. You can see that I have a lot of projects here, but when you're opening the program for the first time, you won't see any of these projects here. It'll be clean and you'll be ready to start from scratch. But don't worry, soon you'll have tons of projects because you're gonna love this. So first thing you're gonna wanna do is click new project. So I'm gonna click new project. And then once you click new project, you just wait for a second to load. And then you're gonna type in your project name. And then create the project. The first thing you need to learn is workspaces. Think of workspaces as tabs in a web browser. Each tab has a different function. However, with workspaces, all the different functions, they help create the overall video. So there are three major workspaces that you need to learn about to get started. The first one is edit. In edit is where you're gonna be editing most of your videos. Next is color, and color is where you're gonna have fun and make your videos look awesome. And then finally, deliver. And deliver is where you're gonna export your videos to create your video files. First thing you're gonna wanna do is set up DaVinci so it automatically saves your projects. This isn't the default, but it is essential. You are gonna thank me for this later. So go up to DaVinci Resolve, click on Preferences, you're gonna select user, and then project save and load. And then you're gonna make sure this live save button is checked. If it's checked, you're good to go. Press save and you're ready to start editing. When you first open your program, you're only gonna be seeing these three windows. Your first window here is your preview window. Here is your window that's showing you what's on your timeline and down here is your timeline. So this is where you craft and put together your video. To add things to your video, you're gonna have to click on this media pool. As you can see, I have nothing in my media pool now. And I have two ways that I could upload footage to my media pool. I can either right click and click media, import media pool, and then I can choose which videos I want imported. If it's gonna ask you to change the frame rate, change it because then it's already gonna be set for that so that your timeline is ready to go and is linked to your footage. So change. The second way I can add footage to my media pool is by finding it in my finder. So I can find the clips that I wanna add and I can just drag them. The great thing is you can add both graphics, you can add JPEGs, PNGs, and you can also add videos. So I've added a few videos just to get started so I can show you how to edit. So when you wanna start, you can click on any of the clips, and when you click on the clip, you're watching the clip. So you wanna decide which part of the clip that you wanna move into your video. So you have two ways to select which part of your clip you wanna to add to your timeline, which is gonna be part of your video. You can either do it by pressing the in 
and then out button right here or you can do it by pressing I for in and O for out on your keyboard. Your in point is where you want this clip to start when it goes onto your timeline and your out point is where it finishes. So I have my in and out points on this clip and now you have three ways to import that clip into your timeline. You can either grab the clip and drag it directly onto your timeline and you see when I do that I have both the video and the audio file. I suggest that you extend your audio file just so you can see the waveform. There's no talking in this so you can't really see it but if there was talking you'd be able to see it there. So that's the first way. The second way is these two options here. So this option allows me to drag the video and this option allows me to drag the audio. If I want to get rid of a clip from my timeline, I just press the delete button and it goes away. So I'm starting to have a few uh, clips here. One thing you want to keep in mind for your settings is this one right here. And what this does is it allows your clips to link together. So when I put them close, you see they'll just link together. And then this separates your audio from your video or it can link it together. If you have it checked off, it's on, that means your audio and video are linked together. If you turn it off, then they're no longer linked together and then you can move your video without moving your audio. Way to start and stop the video from playing is your space button. You can click that anytime and then you can click O for an out point and then I can drag that video clip down onto my timeline. One other thing that I find super helpful is your tools. So for your tools, you're only gonna have to really focus on this first one, which is your arrow, and this one, which is your blade. Your blade will allow you to cut at any point, and then you can click back onto your arrow and delete parts of a clip, and then move them in. So you can switch between the blade and the arrow. The blade and the arrow also have keyboard shortcuts. So B for blade and you'll be automatically in the blade tool or A for arrow and you'll be able to move the clip around. Another thing that's gonna help you a lot is your inspector. Your inspector is a tab that's over here. So you can open it and close it as you see fit. And then in here, what this is gonna allow you to do is move your clips. So if I find this clip is a little too wide and I want to zoom in, I can zoom in and then I can move it around. So I can move around my X points and my Y point until I get a shot that I'm happy with and I can use that shot. You can also crop. So if I need to crop something to the left so I can crop one and I can add it on top of another video. So you can see it's cropped here can move this video around. If you move it and you don't like what you've done to it, you can always press this button here at the end which will get it back to the normal. So I'm gonna press at this one here. So you can see you can add clips on top and if you crop them, you can add you multiple can clips on top of each other. Let's put those all together. So once you start putting your clips together, you can start adding effects to them. Some of the effects you can add are text, so you can add a text on top of it. You can have a lower third. You can add a solid color if you want a background. You can also add video transitions. So here, if I wanna add a video transition, let's say I wanna do a push. See, I have an option to add it in the middle. I can add it to one clip or I can add it to the other clip. So we have our video edited. We've decided what we want where. Now let's color this and make it look pretty. So if we go to word color, you can see all your clips here. You can skip between them and select the clip that you want to color. For us to get started, there's only a few things that I feel like you need to tweak. So first of all, here you have two numbers and you have different options. In number one, I would play with the contrast. So you can increase your contrast to make it look a little bit better. If you want to increase your saturation, then that's great. But other than that, I usually keep all that. 
So basically a temperature changes the difference between yellow and blue. If a video is too yellow, I can add blue to make it more neutral or the vice versa. I can add yellow to a blue video to make it warmer. As you can see, it's getting warmer or cooler. What I'm trying to do with color temperature is I'm trying to make sure that the skin tone looks good. So I wanna, I'm going for a good skin tone. Next, I'm gonna wanna increase my shadows to make it a little bit brighter. And another cool thing that you can do here is your curves. With your curves, this is the beginning of your curve is all your blacks, the middle is all your midtones, and the end is your highlights. So what I like to do with curves is I like to move the bottom, so that means that all my blacks are gonna be black. And then at the midpoint where I see the next curve within my graph, I like to put play around, put it up. As you can see, if I put it down, it gets darker. If I put it up, it gets brighter. So that's very simple color correcting. And the more you do this, the easier it get and the more you can play around with the rest of the tools. But for now, I say keep it simple. Just focus on your contrast, your saturation if you wanna do that, your color temperature, your shadows, and then your curve. Once you're happy with all your clips, they look nice. This one looks a little bright yellow now, so I'm gonna change down the temperature like that. We're gonna put this curve up a little bit. Perfect. Then you're gonna wanna go to deliver. Once you get to deliver, this is the fun part because this is where all the magic happens and your video comes together. So first thing you wanna do is your file name. What do you wanna name your file? Now, you're gonna change your video settings. So in the video tab, you're gonna to go to MP4, and then you're gonna leave the rest as is. Audio, you're gonna make sure that this is clicked so it exports your audio as well. And file, this is just the file name. So as soon as you have that selected, now you're gonna add it to your render queue. So you're gonna select where you wanna save it. I'm gonna save that on my desktop, and you just have to click Start render, watch it quickly edit together. There you go, now you know how to use DaVinci Resolve in this beginner's guide to video editing. Do you wanna make videos but hate talking to camera? I can help. Sign up for my free Film Yourself Challenge where I teach you how to get comfortable talking to camera. If you like this video, please share it with a friend, give it a thumbs up, and I have new videos out every Wednesday. Until next time, peace.